Welcome into a special edition of Like a Hawk. Thanks for stopping by. Normally this would be just the hits. Last week I had just two things because I was at the National, so I had a very fun mail day um, with a huge card in there, and then I opened up Undisputed. So I invite you to check out those videos if you want to know what happened last week. I also didn't find anything on the Just the Hits video for viewers, so I decided to take today to just go through what I found at the National, my experience at the National, um, and just do that. So I uh, had a lot of fun at the National. I went Wednesday through Sunday. Saturday I went to a Cubs game with uh, Jason Goldberg and um, had a lot of fun there. He posted on his channel some videos. I did a break with Jason, so I'd invite you to check out his channel. Uh, we did a, a Bowman Chrome, or not Bowman Chrome, just a Topps Chrome that came out blaster. And... Um, just a fun experience. I think you could do the National in two days. I would say maybe Thursday, Friday, you could knock out the National. Um, on Thursday, get a good look of where you want to go. Um, and then Friday, you can stand in line for the redemptions of the packs. Uh, things like trying to get the Panini Silver packs or trying to get the Topps National packs. That can easily be knocked out early in the day uh, because those get dried up quick. And then you'll have the rest of the day looking for singles. Uh, if you are a vintage collector, Highly recommend the National. There is a ton of vintage. There were um, books that you could look through to try to complete your vintage set. There were places that you were able to complete 2018, 2019. I saw somebody trying to complete a 2013, 2014 set. Um, so there's a lot of great things for set collecting, which made, my, uh, made me feel good that people were still trying to collect sets um, overall. So... Let's just start with this. So some of the uh, the fun pickups, I would say maybe this first pickup I have is probably the best deal of the of it of the convention. So this is a it says a Leighton Vander Esch auto jersey for thirty bucks, and it's the signature bled. So if you look at the signature there, um, they're saying that the signature bled. I mean, I can see that there. You have a huge circle right there. The fifty five is kind of bleeding. I don't care. So I even got $5 off it. So this was essentially $25. I was even thinking just for the jersey. So this is a stitched Vander Esch jersey. This has got to be $100, $120 just if you wanted to wear the jersey. Regardless of if you want to do anything with this, it is JSA certified. I don't know if I'm going to keep this in the bag. I don't know if I'm going to wear this as a Cowboys jersey. Uh, but for $25, that is just ridiculous value. Uh, that was at Steel City. So that was my one of my fun pickups, the best pickups I had. Um, this one I found, I'm going to put this in the background of some of my videos. So this is a 1939 uh, Cubs schedule that's on the back of this. Now, I didn't get it for 25 I got it for 20 And that's another tip I want to give you if you go to the National, is you're going to want to haggle. So for anything outside of sealed boxes, because there's not a lot of leeway on that, if you want singles, if you want anything like that, Throw out a number. Now, don't be inconsiderate and lowball them because they'll just ignore you and move on. But if you're, you know, like this was, you know, 20% off and he went for it. And this is, so it's a 1939, official 1939 home games. We were trying to figure out if this was a coaster at some point, if this is actually how the, uh, how the Cubs schedules came out. But I thought it was really cool. I could put it in the back of the background. Uh, and I, we were talking to the guy and he started this off as a hobby. He was collecting Colts. And there was one other team, and then it kind of grew into a bigger thing for him, and now he collects these uh, vintage uh, artifacts and then sells them at, uh, at certain places. So I was lucky to have a nice story. Very warm. Uh, loved the backstory of that, so that was a really cool pickup. I found a Bailey Auto. Now this was $15, $17.50, I think. I, one, I like the picture. Two, I kind of know her autograph, and that's what it looks like. Uh, he gave me authentication, but, you know, you never know. Um, but I thought this would be really, really cool for the PC. Unfortunately, there was only maybe like three or four wrestling vendors that had cards, and a lot of the cards were where they should be, not a lot of deals. Um, and then they had, a couple places had the pictures that you can get. So the Bailey, for about $17.50, I thought it was a, a nice pickup just for me, just to have that. Um, I also did the redemptions. If you remember, I was buying um, unused redemptions off of uh, eBay and had enough to get a black box. Now, this isn't tier A. There's actually a couple tiers. Tier A is going to have, I think he said, the Steph Curry's in it. Uh, tier B is going to have some Kevin Durant. So we don't know what's in here. I'm going to do a break of this black box, 2019 National Black Box. 
We'll see what's inside. I believe these are all one of ones that are slabbed. So we'll see what's in there. Uh, there are uh, there were some junk wax places. So these were three for a buck. Um, got a couple of the star stickers because I like those. Uh, Babe Ruth collection, 1990 Tops Trade. I've never opened up anything like this. Don't even know what that's like. Uh, the Action All-Stars, I got three of those big packs, four of them. And then this I'm going to send off in a care package to Barry Sanders Magnet. Uh, I thought that was kind of cool. So that was part of the three for one. So all that stuff was three for one dollar. Uh, now we're going to get into the singles. As you can see, might see here, I have about eight different singles. I bought a lot for care packages and I lot bought some for the PC. So um, there was a place that was selling uh, cards, like memorabilia auctions or... Uh, memorabilia and autos for about four bucks a card. Now I got these 15 right here for uh, $15 total, or excuse me, 15 of these I got for $50. So about three bucks a piece for the card. So we got a nice Drew Brees here out of 99 from Limited. Got a Emmett Smith Finest. I've never gotten any of these cards. Well, I think somebody may have given one of me a mail day, but this Emmett Smith Finest, I didn't see. I wanted to pick up something like that. So that was very cool to get that in there. Uh, Troy Tulowitzki, that is a for a care package. Addison Russell on card with all this stuff out of 49. So I thought that was cool. An Eloy Jimenez first Bowman Chrome was in that pile for uh, for 50 bucks total. Uh, not sure what's wrong with it, but I will take an Eloy first Bowman any day of the week. Have a Troy Tulowitzki coin, kind of that metal right there. Thought that was kind of cool. David Johnson Honors. Now, Honors is a product that's 300 bucks a box. I think David Johnson's going to come back a little this year, and this was 22 out of 75, so I'm going to pick that up. Uh, Christian Kirk, expecting big things for him this year, and that is out of 75. That's 39 out of 75. Again, that's, again, from the four Honors. Got a Christian Kirk, rated rookie, pink, prism in there. Got a Deshaun Watson from Honors. And that's going to be out of 75 as well, 51 out of 75. I thought it was kind of cool. I like those, the honor stuff. This Aaron Rodgers, now this is metal. This is, I believe you get one of these in each of the elements packs. This is 66 out of 75. I thought it was a cool pickup out of 2019 um, for Aaron Rodgers. So I'm going to hold on to that. Love the silhouette here, this shadow box effect of this black gold Barry Sanders. Uh, I don't know if you can see how it's shadow boxed right there. But that's out of 99. Really cool stuff. Have a Calvin Johnson out of 299. I believe that is game worn. It is. And then Todd Helton bat piece and a Todd Helton with a pinstripe. I love the uh, the 2010s. Any of them that have the bordered along with the pinstripe. Thought that was really cool. So picked up those. So those were um, those 15 were for fifty dollars. Now there's another place that had forty five a dollar each or forty five for forty dollars. Now, I, I even haggled on top of that. So um, this is going to be a pile that I got for me personally. This is all going to be Cubs. So these were all a buck, but I got them probably for about $0.80, cents, $0.75 cents a piece. So let's go through these quickly. A lot of Chris Bryant's. We've got some Anthony Rizzo's here. DJ LeMahieu I thought was cool because it's the first Bowman card. He's doing very well for the Yankees this year. Uh, Anthony Rizzo, walk-off, that gold version. Schwarber Chrome Perspectives. Thought that was a really cool card. Anthony Rizzo, that Chrome. I got Chris Bryant. Chris Bryant again. Anthony Rizzo. Picked up some Dawson's. There was one place I was able to pick up a uh, nice Sportflix Dawson, which I'd never seen before. And Dawson Stadium Club. More Bowman. Now, how this? A Chef Boyardee 1988 Dawson. I mean, I'm not going to find that anywhere. Baseball's best, Andre Dawson. I don't think I've ever seen that card before. A Duracell, Andre Dawson. Uh, one of these, so these pop-ups, you could pop them up on the stand and set them down like that. It shows on the back. I don't think I have this one. I'm not sure, though. Um, and for, you know, 80 cents or 75 cents, that's fine. I'll take the chance that I don't have these. So there's some more right there. More Dawson's. Donner's 89. Captain Crunch. Dawson, 100 years, got Anthony Rizzo, Superstar, Chrome, Anthony Rizzo, Dawson, Induction, pretty cool card, Anthony Rizzo, Leather and Lumber, I believe that's from Retail, Equalizers, Chris Bryant's, Anthony Rizzo's, right there, Bowman's Best, 
Chris Bryant, Anthony Rizzo, more Chris Bryants. Rizzo Brizzo right there. I thought that was kind of cool. I, th I think I may have had that. I'm not sure, but it's good to pick up because I know there's other Cubs fans that I don't really have a lot to give them. So, so that was part of the 40. Picked up these two uh, older cards, Leo DeRocher and Billy Williams. Now that is that was the price. I think I got these for four, maybe even 350. I t haggled haggled down a little bit. Or um, Jason may have gotten these in his stack too. I'm not sure. Uh, picked up some old school. Football cards, because I thought these would be kind of cool. So Harvey Martin for 75 cents. These two filled, uh, this one, this Philadelphia is going to go to Gary S. You have Bob Hayes, 71 tops insert. More Philly stuff. It's going to send out in a pack. Bob Hayes, Randy White, two bucks for each of those. Don't Didn't collect any of these back then. A nice Bob Lilly and a Danny White rookie card right here for three bucks. This was a baseball uh, scratch-off. I'm going to send a George. He likes Kelly Scrumpshie, and this was from 1970. So I thought, hey, you know, I thought that's kind of cool. You've seen these today. I think these were in Heritage that they did the scratch-off. So that's where they're taken from. Uh, another Eagles for Gary. This is a Ed Tutal Jones second year, which may actually be his rookie card since it's in the rookie card. So an $8 Ed Tutal Jones. Thought that was pretty cool. These, I think, were a buck or two bucks. So Roger Craig, if you remember, the manager, I believe, for the Giants, uh, was a pitcher. So that's a Roger Craig card. thought that was really cool. I just got this guy for the name, Rip Rapolsky, for the Phils. I thought Rip Rapolsky, let it rip right there. Jim Rivera, I picked this up for my brother, just as an old-school White Sox fan. I love the picture right here of him jumping up over into the stands to get something. And then Bob Speak, just for this background right here, this stadium facade, I just thought was really cool. Very, look at how crisp the back is on these two. It's just unbelievable how sharp those were. So I picked up some of those old school ones. Uh, now I said that there were places that you can fill out sets. Now, the places you could fill out sets were also sold singles, and these singles were like a, a 10 cents or a quarter. So I picked up some of the Bowman's, uh, top, excuse me, Top's Finest that I didn't have, also that I can give to people. Okay, Kimball, Javier, Charlie Blackman, nice Mike Piazza from Stadium Club, which I didn't have. Yohan Mancada, Alex Bregman, Stadium Club, Corey Seeger, and then Gary Sanchez for that. Uh, next stack of, of these are going to be this one. So this was, this whole stack was for $45. So everything you see here, Total is going to be 45, and I have to say there's probably at least 25, 30 cards in here. So let's go through those. Got a Dante Pettis out of 18. So I thought that was kind of cool. Roger Staubach. This is a Russell Wilson medal card again from Elements of 2018. Again, 22 out of 75. So a lot of these cards are going to factor to be like $1.75, maybe even less, $1.50. I have seen this card. This, you can get an autograph card as well. I just want to pick up one of these because I haven't gotten it yet. Taco Charlton. Out of 49 for the Cowboys PC. Again, going up for another black box in a couple years with the Jonathan Williams, so that unused redemptions. Ichiro from 2019, pretty cool. Chipper Jones, got a Jim McMahon, Mitchell Trisky for my brother. Bernie Williams for Victor Negron, right there. Stops Tatum Club, three, for, three by three. Haven't seen those before. Anthony Miller, rookie card. Zeke. Got a Larry Bird prism. Jeff McNeil, who is on fire. This is his rookie card, and this is the green version. So I thought to just pick that up. More Chipper Jones. You got a Tom Brady. I got a Roger Clemens rookie card for like a buck fifty, buck seventy-five. Couldn't pass that up. I'm sure somebody's gonna like that. Uh, Barry Sanders, pretty cool tops team pinnacle right there. Emmett Smith, elite, very nice. Joe Dumars out of ninety-nine. Believe that is game worn. Very cool. Todd Helton, two pieces of jersey out of 250. Again, all that stuff so far. This is all out of 250, or excuse me, out of 45 bucks. Chipper Jones SP. Got an Eric Young on card autograph right there. Got a Noma game worn jersey. Got a Julian Edelman out of 75 on that cracked ice type of thing. Christian Yelich, Inception, when he was on the Marlins. It's going to be from 2017. Got a Rizzo SP. 
Got a Marcel Darius. So we got a ton of Bills fans, so I know I was going to be able to get this to a good home. Marcel Dar Darius rookie card, 199. I believe that is on card, as you can see that that bleeding into there. And then DeAndre Hopkins out of 49. All that was for 45 bucks. That entire stack. So that was unbelievable there. And again, now these are probably going to be. These were in the three dollar K. This was in the three dollar mix right here. Um, so Chris Bryant pink. Have a Chris Bryant rookie card, Panini. Have this Anthony Rizzo out of 102. So I got this just because this was cool. This is a manufactured patch that Felix PA signed. It's out of 75, but I don't have any of these nice patch cards. And this was like three bucks, two bucks. Uh, Bryant, 20 or 2017 Bryant. Very cool chrome. Now I'm a Mavericks fan, and I thought back in the day it was Mark Aguirre and Ro Rolando Blackman. So I had to pick up some of these for the PC. Didn't have any of these. Mark Aguirre for three bucks or two fifty. Rolando Blackman, I believe this is out of this is out okay, got a gala sixty, and it's got like that movie slide in the back there. On card with the number, it's just beautiful. This is three bucks. I mean, Orlando Blackman was the, one of the guys for Dallas. Picked up a Dirk Nowitzki Clear Vision, a Dirk Nowitzki Select that is game used. Have a Nick Foles out of seventy-five, which I believe looks like maybe the second-year rookie or rookie of that. Uh, a Nick Foles re, re, uh, Inception out of seventy-five. Again, that's I think that's the second year. Uh, Zach Ertz rookie card from Select. Those are going to go to Gary S. You have a Larry Fitz game worn. David Johnson super rookie chrome. Harold Baines rookie card who just got into the Hall of Fame. Uh, Dallin Batances rookie card. It's going to go somewhere. You got a Paul Canerco bat relic right there. Really cool. A Brayu bat relic and a Frank Thomas game worn uniform. Those are all about. Three bucks. I probably got them down to two fifty for each of those, so I thought that was a really good deal. Um, this next deal is all going to be from the. Actually, I think these next cards are all going to be a buck, maybe less, like in the eighty cents range. Again, this was the forty-five for forty, and I bought a ton of, of stacks and decided since I had a ton of stacks, I was going to haggle and got them for about eighty cents a piece. So you're going to see a lot of Braves. You're going to see a lot of Phillies because I have a lot of Braves packages. I'm going to put Audrey Plaza. That's for me. First pitch, haven't seen that card, thought that was cool. Chipper Jones, Cole Hamels, Cole, more Cole Hamels for Philadelphia guys. Roy Oswald, I thought that was kind of cool with that. More Cole Hamels, got a Mike Schmidt moonshot, more Cole Hamels. Ryan Sandberg in Phillies gear, thought that was pretty cool, have not seen any of that. Chase Utley, triple thread, 625. Chase Utley was a great guy for the Phillies, rated rookie. Of Aaron Nola, Chase Utley with that die cut, Cole Hamels, you can see my you know the acetate, Javi Lopez, John Smoltz. Now we're getting into the Victor Carantini. He's on the Cubs right now. First mini Bowman. Uh, we have Andrew Jones out of 2000. Loved these. Found these. Hank Aaron reprint with the chrome. Thought that was cool. Freddie Freeman, Chipper Jones. One more that uh, that blue background. Andrew Jones out of 99, Chipper, more Chipper right there. Double feature, Chipper Jones, Andrew Jones, and then Tom Glavin. BAJ Upton, I kind of just liked how that look of that, that card right there. For that, um, Greg Maddox, Freddie Freeman, Swanson, more Braves things. Let's go through those real quick. I thought these were really cool. The chrome, uh, the, the old school Harry, uh, Hank Aarons in chrome. I thought were very nice. Andrew Jones, Freddie Freeman pink. Minis of Danzy Swanson rookie card. thought that was cool. More chippers, more Jones, more chipper. Acuna, Albies, which I think you can only get these in the Bowman Mega Boxes. Um, the special set, the ones that, that you can get the, uh, the mojo. Matt Kemp out of two ninety nine. Hank Aaron. And then this one, Chipper, Acuna for 75 cents. More Chipper, Warren Spahn, and more Chipper Jones. And then my last stack right here is going to be things I got for a dollar. So I got these Home Run Challenge cards for a dollar. 
a piece. So I have a lot of the Rizzo and Schwarber. Uh, Tanaka, because I was missing this card, so this finally completes the Gypsy Queen. Even though I'd said I was complete, I looked back, I didn't have the Tanaka, so I picked that up. Uh, Todd Helton. Charlie Blackman, my favorite player for my brother in the back in the day, Carlton Fisk, so picked up this year's Carlton Fisk. And then a nice Wade Boggs for the signing. thought that was kind of cool for the signing collection. Um, we have Javi, Raphael Devers Mini Chrome, uh, more Cubs Chrome this year. Picked up some Museum, which I think these were, I don't know if these were in, in the, I think these were about a dollar for those. Uh, rip, uh, Rizzo Inception right there. Reese Hoskins rookie card for 80 cents. Uh, more Bernie Williams for Victor. Uh, Chipper Jones picked up those. Bryce Harper. I know there's some Bryce Harper fans for the channel. Uh, Eloy. Chipper Jones. Got some Reese Hoskins rated rookies right there. Anthony Rizzo. Bryce Harper. Chris Bryant. Uh, Mike Trout perspective for Chrome. Picked up the Rizzo, more of these chrome cards. Xander Bogarts, Jackie Robinson, I thought that was a really cool looking card, so I picked that up for I think 80 cents. These are all I think a dollar or less. Uh, Yelich, JD Martinez, Ichiro, Mike Piazza, who I PC, it was very nice to pick those up. Bo Jackson and Nolan Arenado. So more of these, we got a Joey Votto out of 299 triple threads, couldn't pass that one up. Got a Fernando Tatis Bowman training. Tertice Jr., some Bo Bichette, Ozzy Albies, Raphael Devers, rookie card, Mookie Betts, there are some Boston fans in the channel too, so pick that up. Really cool Chris Bryant's right there. Uh, Chris Bryant, actually, that's a double since I already picked that one up, but a sepia. Kyle Tucker, Rice Hoskins, and then these I think were uh, free that I got um, those pickups right there. Somebody, I think, left those on a, a table, so we just picked those up. Um, some more of these, some pinks, Adamus. I think those. I think these were all ten cents right there. I think those were. Oh no, this was from my break. Sorry. Now I'm getting into my Chrome break. So sorry. I should mix up the piles. But that oh, one last pack here, um, and then this is going to do it. So there's one guy that had Dawson's all in a row. And it was 15 for two bucks. So I picked up a Carlton Fisk to make it 15. But there are some more Dawson's I picked up 15 for, for two dollars. Didn't have a lot when he was in the Florida Marlins jersey or in the Red Sox jersey, so wanted to pick those up. So that, that, and that. So that's gonna do it. I appreciate you if you stayed through this. Again, the National was a lot of fun, had a great time with Jason Aaron Goldberg. Um, just, I think the National is something that you can do in two days, and at least you should do once in your lifetime. But um, let me know what you thought of the video about the pickups. I really appreciate checking out this video. Like, subscribe, tell me about your hits in the week. I'll tell you all about, um, I'll tell everybody about yours in the next Just a Hits video. And of course, there's social media, Instagram at Like a Hot Cards, all one word. Hope you have a lot of luck in your next break, and thanks for watching Like a Hawk.